Hello guys, I'm Coach Yazik and I'm so happy to announce that the courses that I did for Cool Stories are up and running. Get your first free course using my referral code Yazik. Easy to remember. Short videos, tons of knowledge and super interactive. Download the app right now, there are tons of great courses there including mine. See you there! Hello guys, Apakabar, I'm Jazik, I'm a singer and a vocal coach based in Wasa, Poland and today I will be reacting to the first performance at SFMM 37 by Marsha Milan singing Kembali Terang. Oh my god, AJL is coming and we have some new fresh performances, of course my videos are going to be later than other reactors, but you know me, I'm so busy and I'm not saying that other people are not busy, but uh, maybe I am <laughs> the most busy person on this planet. Yeah, could be one of the, the busiest, could be. Anyway, I hope my pronunciation of the song, the name of the song is correct. Please download the app Cool Stories, my courses are there, they're super affordable and with my code Yazik you can get for the first course for free. Alright, let's see how she's doing. The last time I, I reacted to her was probably like two months ago and she could have been singing this song because I, I guess this is her new single, but let's check out her new live performance of it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> E flat three. So that's E flat three. The first one was very nice. This one was a little bit breathy, but she's very conversational, so it it makes sense to sing this way. A little bit lowered larynx, kind of breathy, but there is presence there. <laughs> And the audiences are very excited about this performance. They're like, whoa, and you know, enjoying this. And it, it has the the biggest views, I think, because I can see Aina Abdul's performance right next to it and it has less views and I'm not saying that the views are any way telling you that someone's better than the other. We know that some songs that are not that great get a lot of views, but it also shows that people are super interested in what she's doing, which is a nice sign. And yeah, I guess people love singers that can really deliver and they just they would end up on their knees to please the audiences with powerful notes and, you know, great lyrics. And she can definitely do that. She's definitely in good shape right now vocally. Her head voice sounds a little bit better than usually and she always sounds good but here her head voice is a little bit more rounded and it's louder and she really controls zipping up and unzipping her vocal cords so sometimes she can you know do some breathy notes in her head voice slash falsetto yet she can still deliver some notes that sound kind of like Ernie Zakri's. Ernie Zakri can deliver head voice with a lot of presence and barely breathiness in her voice and you know she's breathy whenever she wants 
for me, for Marsha before, it was like, okay, so her head voice is going to be a little bit breathier because she's a chesty singer, she likes belting, and sometimes it's just harder to go back to that. But here, I can tell that she's, yeah, she's owning it. I love the backing vocals as well. Yeah, so she's just covered two octaves with her full voice from E flat 3 to E flat 5. Full voice, a lot of power, her mouth is open and she's just supporting and doing her thing, which is a, you know, kind of aggressive way of singing and very, very loud and very expressive. <laughs> Loving the vibrato. Wow, impressed. E5. Wow. And I've also noticed that her placement is a little bit better. Sometimes her notes remind me of Demi Lovato at times. Sometimes at times. Very good English, pray for it. She really places her notes there, but she delivers it with a lot of TA muscle, which is a muscle that is responsible for pitch and mostly chest voice. Her CT muscle that is actually bringing your uh, voice box to the front and making your vocal folds a little bit longer, which makes you produce higher notes easier. It's there as well, I can tell that this is not just forced chest. It's a very nice mix, great vibrato and super powerful. I am impressed, like she, she must be in so good condition or she has trained her voice to become even better when it comes to the technique. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful. I mean, I've always liked Marsha Milan and she's definitely competing with the biggest voices like Aina Abdul's, like Siti Nurkhaliza's and many others, Erni, you have such great singers. She's definitely fighting for her place in the history of music and she is an actress as well and she, she's had a long career. To see her now fighting for her dreams as a singer, it just makes me a little bit emotional and also I just keep my fingers crossed for her because she really deserves the success and she's been singing these hard songs forever and challenging herself and becoming better as a singer even in my eyes you know seeing her going from one point to, to here to now amazing singer she's definitely there to compete for for to win to win why not Marsha Milan you're great thank you so much for watching guys make sure to subscribe for more and down all the cool stories up uh, it will make me super happy to see you there and i'll see you soon here on my youtube channel take care bye bye